Thomas in the corner. He'll give it to Wiegand. Wiegand back up to Thomas in the right side to Dave. He finds Chafee hand cutting. Open down low. Puts that one up and in for two. Regains the Red Devil lead. Four to two here at Eureka College. As now McMurray inbounds to Wiegand. He will find a wide open Hank Thomas now at the top of the three-point line. He will knock that down every time. And Jordan Dame outside three-point arc. Now to Feehan. Feehan back to basket. He will turn around. He will put up the two. Knock that one down in the face of number 23, Nigel Farrell. Shot. Head coach Chip Wilde wants to see him take it. As now Hank Thomas dribbles through some traffic. He will get a step. Put up the three and knock that one down in the face of King. Hank Thomas getting hot here early. McMurray now works across the timeline. He will find Shafee hand cutting back door to the basket. An easy two and great ball there from Ryan McMurray. Get the rebound. Out of trouble. He kicks it up. The Red Devils have numbers. As Hank Thomas will find Jordan Dame cutting to the basket for two. As Eureka out to an early eight point lead here. Blackburn forced to call a timeout. You can hear the crowd getting into it. That, Revel, that Red Devil bench is fired up. As now Jordan Dame there will give the ball to Bennington. Bennington tries to drive baseline with the reverse land. He puts it up and in. 4-2 with some contact. Look pass to McMurray, tipped away, but Bennington will steal it back with the reverse lay-in, good for two. 20-8 now for the Eureka Red Devils, just over 10 minutes left here in the first half. McElmurray looking to put the moves on Hayes as he'll drive by, have some space. He finds Feehan on the baseline, Feehan's floater up in good. Great look there from McElmurray on the backdoor cut from Feehan. He gives the ball in the court to Bennington, Bennington will drive baseline. He stops, turns around, puts it up, and good. Two points for Dakota Bennington. He is tough to guard, isn't he? He can do everything. Back to Thomas in the corner. Double team. He is trapped. He finds Feehan a deep three. Feehan will put it up. Knock that one down. Big three there from Feehan to give the Red Devils back that lead. Going away there by Feehan getting in the passing lane. Feehan trying to get to the basket here. He will go up, turn the back to the basket, and lay that one in for two. Seeing Wiggins not give up his ground, not let anybody back him down. It's a great defensive possession, followed by a great offensive possession right there by Hank Thomas. Yeah, setting the screen there, allowing Hank Thomas to get open on the baseline. Again, in traffic, like you mentioned, getting those shots up somehow, puts that one up and in for two, extending this Red Devil lead back to nine, all sparked, of course, by that big Shea Feehan three-pointer deep, almost from the volleyball line here. Drives in that kind of one-on-one -on -one area, and he's just so good at locking down uh, the other team that it, he just loves it. As now Feehan knocks down another two up 39-30 here under a minute left in the first half of action. As now he's trying to work one-on-one -on -one versus Wiegand trying to fly all over the floor but that's just showing the athleticism of Alex Wiegand forcing the turnover there Ryan McElmurray fronting Hayes King just throws that one out of bounds and Eureka will get the ball back so he, moving his feet, playing active defense, doesn't stand there, never caught on his heels, always ready for that next move that his opponent is going to make. As Feehan starts the second off, the second half off the same way he ended the first. Better defensive effort today. As now Jordan Dame will attempt the three. His three is up and good on the assist for McElmurray. Like you said, hustle plays, and that's what Shea Feehan is so good at, the hustle plays, little things like that. And now you see him hit a three and a potential four-point play. What can this man do? Because I can't find anything in his game that he is not good at. And good to see Jordan Day being so active in this game. On Wednesday, we kind of didn't see a lot of him, but today we saw a hell of a lot more. As Alex Wiegand jumps up and explodes for the slam there, this place is going nuts. They're ready to blow the roof off here. Up to 25 point lead. You can see they are fired up. Rising up in transition, throwing that one down. McElmurray brings the ball back up the court. And Dame gives the ball to Feehan. Feehan's three is up and good, he answers. He looks to push the ball off the right side, gives it to Hank Thomas. Hank Thomas driving through the lane. He pulls it up for the two, the long two is good. As now that inbounds pass, Hank Thomas forcing some problems, and they will get a turnover as the ball goes out of bounds. Off to Hank Thomas. Hank Thomas now guarded by Kirby. He will get to the basket. He gets that one up, gets rolled. Jordan Dame tips that one in for two. Good job by the big man finding some space and getting the tip in. 
that extra pass to Bennington, who finds Feehan. He steps back for three. That went up, knocks another one down. Jay Feehan, 39 points here with 10 minutes left in the contest. <laughs> Offense. Hank Thomas now driving through, gets some space, long two up and good. Now by Jurgens. Now Hank Thomas off and running. He's looking in transition. As they get the alley-oop to Bennington, Hank Thomas with the dime. Bennington comes flying in back door. He'll throw that one down with authority. Dakota Bennington once again saying welcome to the Reagan with that one. McElmurray, McElmurray drives by Hayes. He finds Hank Thomas in the corner again. Another three from Hank Thomas. Hank Thomas feeling it right now as they are firing on all cylinders. These shooters cannot miss. To Hank Thomas, Hank Thomas looks at Splits the defense there. 360 behind the back. Right to Alex Wiegand as he puts another one in for two. Incredible pass there from Hank Thomas. Now we see on a field, Hardaway and Kobe in the game for the Red Hills as Kobe right there with the backdoor pass to Wiegand. Across half court as he will assume the point guard duties and he will stop, pull it up, and drain a three right there. Extend that lead even more, 98-69. Hardaway's off and running. Hardaway works middle. He will stop, rise up, put a one high arcing shot, and he'll get it in for two. They needed some big time performance at home to get back on track, and I think they did that today at home against this Blackburn team. As Don Hardaway Jr. hits a deep three right there. Riga College with a 27 point victory here over Blackburn at home, 103 to 76. Shea Feehan, 41 points there in the contest incredible game we saw some highlights folks between the hank thomas alley-oop pass to dakota bennington throwing it down alex wiegand throwing one down in transition these guys came out firing all cylinders like they said they needed this one and they got it here at home you know a great all-around effort by this red devils team today good to see them back on track i'm excited for the next time we get to watch these guys in action